Warning, this episode of Super Ghouls and Ghosts contains a lot of motion trickness, such as rotation and rocking back and forth. If you easily get motion sickness, I advise you to not watch the episode, or at the very least just listen to the episode without any visual cues. Anyway, enjoy this part. Hello everyone, this is the Quarter Diesel here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Ghouls and Ghosts for the Super Nintendo. It's been a while for me since I... whoa, hello there. Uh, it's been a while for me since I've, uh, recorded this game and everything, uh, but last time that, uh, we left off, um, I... Oh, oh god. Oh god, I meant holy... Okay, uh, well, what the... Okay, well, what the hell have I got myself? Okay, this level is going to be interesting. Okay, this is yeah, this is going to be a very interesting level indeed. So, okay, well at least uh, at least I know what I'll uh, what I'll need to do here. So yeah, let's try some ash. Yeah, okay, that was okay. Well, well, as Yugi Moto would say, dick move, bro. Anyway, so as I was trying to say and everything, uh, last time that uh, we left off, uh, we went and did uh, level 3 of uh, Super Ghouls of Ghosts, and right now we are taking a look at level 4, and judging from what I can see, this is going to be a... This is going to be a very interesting level indeed. So, I can already tell I'm going to be in for uh, a world of pain with this level. And that's a bit. Alright, good to know. Alrighty then, well, uh, alright, well, I know that this level's gonna take me a long time, uh, it's gonna take a long time for me to actually try and beat, so, uh, let's see, uh, so, uh, let's see how long it would actually, uh, take for me to, uh, beat this level. Hey, there, okay. Alright, well, that didn't work. Alright, no biggie. Let's just keep going. Okay, this level is actually pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know if I should probably put a warning at like you know anyone that's like you know uh, that can't handle like you know this type of uh, most uh, sickness where the camera's turning. Uh, I, might, uh, I might put a little I might put a little warning here just in case if uh, uh, just in case this little rotation thing might get out of hand. I'll see. Uh, I'll, probably, uh, I'll probably put it somewhere uh, somewhere around the start of the video. I guess I'm supposed to jump here then. Ah, okay. Alrighty. Well, you guys know what this means, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I guess I just had. Okay, so either I have to be really. Okay, so it's probably gonna be one of those where it's just like. I'm gonna have to find like a really good spot in order to like, you know, make that jump, or I'm gonna have to find a different spot to make the jump, so. Let's see, uh, let's see which one is going to be which. Uh, okay, so actually you still do get hit by the spike, so it's going to be one of those where you got to time it then. Oop, and that was my bad. That was my bad. Darcy's teeth. Okay. Uh, no halfway point just yet. 
Alright, I'm slowly starting to get the pattern, which is nice. I mean, a lot of money bags, too, I realize. A little close there. Now I got to, now I got to worry about Joy. No. Ah. Oh, well. Alrighty, let's try to do this. I've been teleported to a. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. That's gonna. Oh wow. A lot of rocket. Yeah, there's a lot of. There's a lot of motion happening in this one, folks. Okay, well, I found a checkpoint, which is cool, but. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Maybe I really am gonna have to put a warning on here uh, about, like, this being, like, you know. Uh, th uh, this game having, like, lots of motion, you know, stuff, cause I, uh, cause I know, uh, cause I, uh, cause he, uh, cause even, uh, cause even where, even from where I am, I'm kinda getting a little, I'm feeling kinda a little woozy, just, uh, just looking at, just looking at this rocking back and forth. And I'm gonna have, and I'm gonna have to put up through that, too, during, uh, during this whole game, aren't I? It's not all too bad. The only, uh, the only thing I just got, yeah, the only thing I just got dodge. Um, uh, the, uh, the little, you know, the little cloud, uh, the little purple clouds themselves, I could dodge with no problem. And it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be these little uh, blue. Uh, it's gonna be these little blue things again. That I gotta have to watch out for. Getting close to the boss. Oh, okay. So apparently you can actually uh, hop over the bubbles. Alrighty, well, <laughs> all, right, all right. Well, I wasn't too sure if you could hop over the bubbles, or it was one of those where it was kind of like you know a uh, hazard. So, all right. Well, I don't know that I'm going to use that to my advantage actually. There we go. Looks like we might be dodging the uh, little flying devils. So it's, gonna, so it's almost going to be like the uh, fourth level in the original uh, Ghosts and Goblins. So, okay, I'm a little down with that, and it looks like we made it to the hole. So I'm guessing this is the boss, then. I kind of hope this acts like another checkpoint, which I think it is. So, okay, there. Uh, hey! Oh, can I help you? Can I help you? Um, uh, guessing we have a... Alright, so I'm guessing we got a little three-headed dragon. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a reference to like King Ghidorah or something, but wow, that's major lag. <laughs> Alrighty, we are having major lag here, folks. Alright, well, we got one at least. So, one down, two more to go. 
Oh, okay, I was gonna... S uh, now they're... What the hell? Hello? Oh, okay, I was gonna say what happened there. Uh... Okay, well, I got the other one now. So, okay, what are you now? Some kind of... What the hell are you? Some kind of lizard dude or something? Like, you know, what the hell is up with that? Like... Okay, well, I beat it on my first try, though. <laughs> okay, that was a very, very easy boss battle. Too easy, honest, uh, honestly. So that was another one where boss was easy, level hard, but... Okay, actually that level wasn't all too bad to be honest. Um, ooh, we got snow here. Alrighty, well we're halfway through the game, at least it turns on the first run. Um, so, okay, that level, um, okay, so the only major grab I did have of the level was just basically the little, um, blue reaper guys. I kind of feel like, you know, they were kind of throwing me off on my, you know, aim on trying to get, like, you know, the green flames and everything. Um, uh, but the concept was pretty nice, you know, the little, uh, a uh, little rotation on the uh, pattern as well as just like, you know, just trying to stay on the platform while, you, uh, while you're also fighting off, you know, uh, enemies. Uh, the little teleportation thing was also pretty nice too, so, uh, so, uh, so the level wasn't all too bad. Uh, I'm going to be a little honest here. Um, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, like, so far I'm having a little bit of a mixed opinion on. Um, on the one hand, like, you know, I really do love the environments. The environments here are really beautiful and everything, and I like how, you know... Uh, the team has actually make uh, uh, so far is actually making each level you know really stand out and unique to like you know the previous levels and everything. I'm not sure how to feel about the gameplay to be honest, because like there are some moments where like you know you are able to recognize the pattern and everything, and like you know uh, able to beat the boss and uh, uh, well actually enemies and bosses and so forth. But I feel like you know there are some moments where like you know almost like the other ghosts and goblins. Um, so many enemies kind of come out at random, and sometimes they can kind of mess up your, you know, attack patterns and stuff. And I can see that being an, uh, being annoying to a couple people to a point where, like, you know, uh, I can see some people being, you know, frustrated with the game and everything. Um, I'm still enjoying the game so far. Like, you know, there are a couple of things, you know, this game is offering that I like and everything. And I'm still, you know, super excited to see what else this game has to offer. Um... Dress of a corny, we've been going for almost an hour, so that's actually not really all that bad. So, yeah, I have no doubt that this is probably going to get, you know, cut down to somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes. And, yeah, I am definitely going to put up the, um, I am definitely going to put up the warning at the beginning, because, uh, uh, just, uh, just in case if there are some people out there to get motion sickness a little easily, so. Um, anyway, but, yeah, so, like I said, so far I'm still enjoying the game, uh, we're halfway through, so, uh, just, uh, just got to get through the other four levels, and, uh, just got to be it for the second time, and... Hopefully I, can, uh, hopefully I can actually get, you know, the required item before we get to the boss, so. Um, anyway, this has been Sakura to Diesel saying thank you all so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this uh, episode of Super Ghouls and Ghosts, don't forget to hit the like button. If you guys want to see more episodes of uh, Ghouls and Ghosts or any of your other favorite games, hit that subscribe button as well. Speaking of games, don't forget if you guys got any games you want me to try out, listen in the comments on the YouTube or on my Facebook page. Don't forget to check out my uh, main channel if you guys like movie and TV show reviews. And also don't forget to check out mine and old T-Pass co-op channel, Review Bros, where we review movie and TV shows together. But until then, this has been Sakura saying thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode on Let's Play Super Ghouls and Ghosts, where we'll take on level 5. And I and uh, knowing this game, there's probably going to be a lot of ice physics, so I'm sure I'm going to be enjoying that. But yeah, until then, take care, everybody.